So the first COSI experimental design that we will be discussing is called pre-test, post-test, non-equivalent group design. So as we can see that it's a non-equivalent group design and because of the non-equivalent, this is coming under the jurisdiction of COSI experimental. And why it's non-equivalent? Because we did not perform random assignment. And as we know that random assignment is the strongest tool to make equivalent groups. So as the random assignment is not performed in this COSI experimental design, so the groups formed are non-equivalent. And these groups are non-equivalent with respect to age, they may be non-equivalent with respect to gender or some other personality characteristic or subject variable. The normal way of performing the experiment is that the experimental group is compared with, with those in the control group. Now it is important to take care of two kind of differences and these differences arise at two levels. Number one, the difference is due to the non-equivalent groups because the groups are pre-existing and therefore these groups are not equal. And the second is because of introducing our independent variable in the experimental group. So because of these two differences, it is difficult to establish causality in COSI experimental design. Here is a figurative representation for the pre-test, post-test design. So we have two groups, the experimental group and the control group, but because these two groups are not equivalent due to the lack of random assignment, so we have O1 as the observation or the pre-test in the experimental group and we have the same pre-test O1 in the control group as well. Then the experimental group is passed to the treatment where there is no treatment in the control group and then we have the post-test in the experimental group and again a post-test O3 in the control group. So while we take the pre-test O1 in both the experimental and control group, the benefit of taking this pretest is that it helps us to compare the two groups and look for significant differences. The result from the pretest will help the researcher whether there is a difference in the performance of the two groups. If there is no difference in the performance of the two groups in the pretest, then we can say that the groups are similar on pretest. If the mean score in the two groups are not equal, then this means that the groups are not equivalent. But if there is no significant difference in the scores of the two groups in the experimental and control group, then we have the evidence that both the groups are equivalent. And then we can say that the threat due to the individual difference is reduced. And therefore, now we can compare the score on the post-test. Because both the groups are performing similar scores or they have similar means or there is not a significant difference in the means in the pre-test, then we can compare the score on the post-test and we would look for if there is a significant difference in the score in the post-test. If there is a significant difference in the post-test score, then we will say that the treatment is effective. If the mean in the experimental group is higher than the mean in the control group, then we can say that the treatment was effective. However, the pre-test score provides info with respect to one specific variable. Because we have taken the pretest on one specific variable, which is our dependent variable. Therefore, we can say that the two groups are equal only on the specific dv or the dependent variable. But we cannot say whether the two groups are equal on other variables which are not involved or which were not measured on the pretest. Therefore, the other potential variables, the other significant or important variables are not controlled. And as a result, we can say that the threat to the internal validity is not fully eliminated because the other variables are not controlled. And this is again because of not having random assignment in the COSI experimental design. However, if we can see that there is no significant difference in the post-test, which means that both the groups, the control group and the experimental group have performed equally on the post-test, then this means that the treatment is not responsible for the performance. The treatment has done nothing to the score in the experimental group and some other factor is responsible for the performance in both the experimental and the control group. Let us do 